if someone is about to break down, you're probably not going to cut away necessarily to someone else because you'd be with a person who's having an emotional crisis. Did you fool me? Jesus Christ! If there's an underlying principle, it is you cut when, if you're in the room, your eyes would move. I think your eyes would move. You cut. I think you cut your eyes. Would move. The first thing I will do is to look at all the material for a scene and I will make notes, mainly about the concise truth of the performance. Truth, the truth of the performance. Cool, cool. Economy is what always comes out. I think if you can tell the story just with one shot rather than two, that's what you do. No. Is it essential? Can the film work without it? Yes, the film can work without it. OK, cut it. It's very important that we cut the film from we start to the end. You don't cut a scene and then go back and cut a scene before it because you don't know the rhythm of the scene before it. So you have to cut linear. It's a house of cards. Everything depends on your first choice. The first choice for the first frame of the first shot sets a demand for the next shot. And that shot sets a demand for the next shot, both in its timing and in its framing. So everything it has to be consecutive, otherwise you don't know what you're looking for. Because you don't know what the demand of the previous scene is and the previous shot is. Having a previous cut available is a disaster. Hello ladies. Because if you keep different cuts, somebody else might want to see the cut that you've rejected. It's not talking competition. Then you've got a whole debate about it. Much better just, when you finish the cut, destroy it. Move on. Why would you want to show it to anybody else? You've seen it, you've made your judgment. If there's two cuts and it's available on a computer, that's a nightmare. You end up with the committee designing a horse and ending up with a camel. The industry practice of editing a film while it's being shot is one that suits management, but it doesn't suit film directors or editors. This treaty was ratified! For the reasons I've explained, is that you don't know which shot you want, you don't know which part of shots you want, until you begin to cut. And the structure of the film has its own logic. So it's inconceivable to cut while you're shooting. Are you suspecting this man to, 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 to speak about the textbook of socialism? I hate computers and um, have to be dragged kicking and screaming to sit in front of one. The film is nice because you roll it backwards and forwards and... Um, You've got a very good nose. I miss the tactile quality of celluloid and I miss the gaps while Jonathan is cutting the celluloid together. I had a few moments to look out the window and maybe listen to the crickets and now there's no time to do that. So that's a big downer. You don't need an assistant in the room all the time and that's a pity because there was always someone to chat to. And it makes it less sociable. That's the problem with the new technology. And the good thing about cutting on film is you've only got one cut at a time.